All right, welcome back with the, the panel. We appreciate all of them for, for being here. I want to go back to Cooper. Please explain to us the difference between ACV, RCV, and recoverable depreciation. Sure. Can you do that? So RCV stands for replacement cost value, and that's the real world cost uh, of your property to replace it today. Um, but ACV is the actual cost value, which is after they take the depreciation. So if you have a, you know, 30 year shingle roof, but it's 15 years old, then on the front end, they're going to pay you the actual cost value of that roof. And then once you actually go replace it, then they'll release the depreciation that they with, withheld on the claim. But that causes a lot of fights because sometimes they're depreciating it too much. Sometimes they're, you know, withholding too much of the depreciation and it's caused a lot of problems. And a lot of people don't understand that on the front end, they're going to pay you the actual cash value. And it's not until you replace that property that they release that depreciation to you. Okay. Well said. Chris, let me come to you. What does a mitigation uh, company do and, and then who pays for it? Well, initially, all policies have a duty to mitigate. Uh, and that simply means that you need to stop the damage to whatever your property, uh, whether it be um, exposure, rain, uh, sunlight, whatever it is. Uh, so you've got a duty to seal up your house and stop the damage from, from rain coming in and other, other things like that. So sure there's nationwide companies like ServPro and other remediation companies. Uh, you get them in, they do tear outs, take the insulation out, the bad sheetrock, bad flooring, whatever it is. Uh, and and it's, it's covered under your insurance policy and it's something that needs to be done. Okay, very good. So Chuck, I guess the bottom line, then I'm, I'm gonna add a couple of questions for y'all. When does a person say, okay, it's time, I've had enough, I'm picking up the phone, I'm calling an attorney? So Martin, I'll, I'll kind of go back to um, our theme. And I've talked about it before with all in litigation is, and it's on our billboards for a reason of know your rights. The insurance, the, the laws in Louisiana provide what the insurance companies have to do what they have to provide, how they have to adjust your claim, timeliness, et cetera. Um, the insurance companies have their attorneys they're talking to. Um, when when an individual is tired of dealing with the insurance companies, don't think they're being treated fairly, come see us. Come talk to us. We'll explain to you what your rights are. And again, not everybody's going to need an attorney to help handle their insurance claim. A lot of people were. I mean, a lot of people will. And if they have questions about what needs to be done, come see us. And a lot of it is, hey, when you're tired of dealing with the, the, the nonsense, come see us. You want somebody to fight the fight for you. You want somebody to hold the insurance company accountable. That's what we're going to do. And, you know, we, we've got the website up and running now. You can get information there. That's at myidaclaim.com. Mm -hmm. um, we'll also be answering the phones. We've got a number, special number dedicated to helping with the insurance claims. Uh, we'll also see people in the office if they want to, to meet in person. So, um, so when you get tired of the nonsense, mm -hmm. you got questions you need to have answered, you need to come see us. Let me ask Leon Cooper, being from Lake Charles, if people have multiple structures, insurance company comes in, all those structures are separately, you know, placed. Same company, same insurance company. Can you negotiate with the insurance company to say, look, I'm never going through this again. I'm downsizing. So why don't you write me a check for this, 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 and this? Do they do that, or is that a long shot? So it kind of goes back to what I was saying earlier. They're going to estimate your damages and then issue you the payment for the actual cash value of your loss. Mm -hmm. But if you choose not to replace that property, then you might be leaving that recoverable depreciation on the table. So that yeah. would be the only risk that I would, you know, foresee in some situation like that. Um, but a lot of things are negotiable yeah. in, in this but world. But that's a tough spot to be in. That's a tough call to make if you want to get that extra hundred grand to, to build that boat shed back or take the loss and not build it back because you're depreciating your property and what you have on it too. Uh, and I, Martin, I think yeah. what, and that's where it comes and you look on your estimates that you'll get mm -hmm. from the insurance company after they do it and they'll list actual cash value and that's their terminology for what's it worth now and they'll pay you that if you rebuild it you may get more because it may cost you more to rebuild it 
than the actual cash value. And a lot of it right. is if it's a 40-year building and it's been there for 30 years, they'll, de they'll take depreciation off of your actual cash value, and you can still get that. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted the building rebuilt, once it's rebuilt, they would pay you a little bit more uh, to bump you up to the replacement yeah. uh, cost value. Let me, let me ask. And uh, I said actual cash, yeah. actual cost value. Look at Cooper and Lee. We've got a, a few, couple of minutes left. Experience from Lake Charles last year. Did most people get what they deserved, or was it 50 percent, or was public adjusting and attorneys involved a lot in Lake Charles? Well, I'll tell you this. Uh, I, I think it's a mixed bag. Um, certain insurance companies were very fair when they came in. Um, some of them were not. Uh, you might have been with an insurance company for decades. It really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, the point being is um, a lot of people at some point just kind of got fed up. And you, you have people, you hear these stories, and I've seen it firsthand, and where you've got somebody on their 10th, 11th, 12th adjuster. You're getting bounced all over the place. And nearly everybody that I've talked to, they don't, they don't deal with this on a daily basis. It gets frustrating, and at some point they're just like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. And so that's what we've seen. It just gets to the point where you just have to let somebody else deal with it. All right. I want to thank you guys. Excellent panel today. Let's look at them again. Chuck Bork, Chris St. Martin, Cooper Fournette, and Lee Hoffus. And keep up the great work. St. Martin and Bork, keep up the giveaways. People love it, brother. Lunch today, remember, at noon. Yep. We're doing yep. lunch and ice giveaway again today at noon. Please uh, stop by. It went really well the other day, and there's a lot of people in need. Um, so we hope you come by and. And Chris, just keep me an ice cream sandwich. That's all I want, brother. Waiting right. for you. All right. Thank you. We appreciate it. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with a lot more. Don't go away.